None of you can win against me. Give up. What's going on, everybody? Coach Steve here, professional fighting game player for many years. And I am excited to finally be able to bring you guys a guide on how to play Jiren and Dragon Ball Fighters. In his current state, my power radar cannot read Goku. Before we get started guys, please go ahead and subscribe to the Dash Fight YouTube channel and be sure to check out dashfight.com for any and everything FGC related. So, if you want to talk about like Jiren's best buttons, you absolutely have to mention his 2L. His 2L is an A-frame medium starter. Uh, it's only minus two on block, so you're gonna use this to reset a lot of stagger pressure. It's gonna start your block strings. Pretty much gonna be where all your damage is at. And you know, when Jiren gets his combo started, you're going straight to the corner, building a lot of bar, everything of the sort. And you know, you can use it like like spacing traps as well. So I'm gonna have him like reversal jab. If I press 2L here, he can't really contest me with anything. And a lot of characters can't. So once you get that clean hit, uh, it's party time. You're gonna do probably like 6K in a combo, you know, which we see like a little bit later. But it's gonna, it's an all around button that you're gonna find yourself using a lot of the time. The next button that I find very, very useful in neutral, and it's also just a unique button in general, is Jiren's 5S. It's not a key blast, it's actually a beam property, which means you get a true jail string into Vanish, which is really nice, you know, just in case you gotta like close the gap. But it also has key blast in mold, uh, in vulnerability on frame one. So I have Vegeta just throwing rapid key blast here. You can on reaction uh, press 5S. And if you have like a strong assist or just any assist that goes full screen, like I have Vegito here, you can uh, actually get a meterless conversion like that instead of having to spend the bar on Vanish. And another cool thing about being frame one invo is while you're blocking key blasts, you can always reflect in between, but Jiren can reflect and then press 5S and he'll still be able to get a combo like that. So it's a really good tool uh, to use in neutral and shut down your opponent's key blast game. So the next button I wanna talk about is Jiren's 2S. And I'm gonna show you guys something with it that's really cool and some people actually do not know. So I have uh, Vegeta here, he's gonna do a block string and I'm gonna do 2H to try and, you know, catch a gap, right? 2H didn't work, he was able to block it, but with 2S, watch what happens. So he gets blasted. And the reason for that is instead of uh, a four frame startup on the head and vault, uh, Jiren's 2S actually starts up in two frames and it makes it easier to catch like, you know, like some, some of like the smaller gaps, you know, be able to anti air them sometimes like, you know, react to super dash, uh, a lot better. So this is the fastest anti air in the game. And like, even like point blank super dashes, like, let's say like he does like a round start or like from that distance, it's a lot easier to anti air with, uh, 2S because, uh, oh, I got counter hit there, but that extra two frames of leniency is really, really important when you're trying to catch gaps, when you're trying to anti-air uh, and just react to uh, things in general that are in the air. So it's one of his best buttons. And again, the fastest anti-air in the game because it has two frame startup instead of uh, four frame startup. So the next button I wanna talk about, uh, it's gonna be two of his air buttons. One of them is his J2S, which I think is one of the best key blasts in the game. You see at close range, it's a 10 frame key blast. You can kind of use it for like pseudo mix because it's pretty fast. And you know, you can like stay the same side and such like that. But one of the really cool things about this is that it jails into super dash from really, really high heights. So like from here, it still jails even from there. Like it's really high, like how lenient it is. And then even like on the off chance that like you're a little too far away, it's pretty hard for them to 2H you. Like you see how that just beat out his uh, his reversal 2H. And then if that were to happen, then you know, you just get a combo. And I think it's just really strong. And another good thing about this is that let's say they, uh, they try and super dash through it. Since it's a key blast, like they can just super dash right through it, but uh, if Jiren were to super dash himself, you'll always clash. Even like from like 
here, like really close, you'll always clap. So you go back to neutral and you're pretty much just safe all around. Since we're on the topic of super dashes, that leads me to his next button, which is his newly buffed J2H. So this button is really good. You can charge it. Uh, now on hit, it gives you a ground bounce when it's fully charged. So then you'll get like, you know, some cool follow-ups. But it also gives a ground bounce uh, if they pretty much clash with you because now it has uh, air involved. So if I time this, I didn't charge it fully all the way. So, and then I'll be able to fully get a combo. So this in conjunction with like his air key blasts, like J2H, I mean J, uh, J2S, J, uh, J5S and stuff like that. That in conjunction with like, like all together is just pretty much stopping them from playing neutral with you. And it's really good. Cause like you just control all this space. And then like you can use your grounded assist. Like if you have like, you know, like a beam or a projectile or anything and you're just controlling all of this space on the screen. Before we get into like Jiren's block strings and stuff, I wanna just like quickly go over uh, his different parries since he has four different ones. Uh, I'm gonna just pretty much explain which ones you should be using, which ones you should probably shy away from and why. And we're gonna start with the L parry. So his L parry is a uh, four frame startup, his two, three, two, one, four L. It's a four frame starter parry that parries lows, highs, uh, jump ins, pretty much whatever that's not a projectile uh, will give you the parry animation. That's not a projectile or a super. So Vegeta's gonna do like rocket kick into vanish. So here, you know, it's like you can reflect because it has a gap, right? Uh, if I try and parry here, I'll get hit out. But if I accept the vanish, he takes his turn, even though he's plus two and presses jab. I'm still able to parry immediately after. And it also helps like uh, when you're just trying to take your turn in general. So let's say I have him clash. Let's say we clash, right? So you can do this. You can parry right here if you want to. But what you can do is instead of mashing jab and like, you know, playing this clash game, you can, al you can always stop after the first one or second one and just parry because it'll beat out every other button that comes next. You can also get uh, combos after all of his parries now, especially if you have like a good enough assist to do it. So since I have Vegito, I can get a full extension, which does a lot of damage for just like a, just a parry. It's crazy, you lost 4K, 4.2K, whatever you decide to do. And you can also use uh, the special tag mechanic as well. You know, if you want to get him out and you'll get your smash as well. All right, so next we have his H parry. So 214H is his EX parry. And the differences between the EX one and 214L is that while they both counter uh, the same types, like the same types of moves, EX parry comes out uh, frame one instead. So using the same example uh, of Vegeta just doing like a rocket kick into Vanish, where you can reflect, it's just general rule of thumb, where you can reflect you can parry. And then the same rules apply with it as well with combos. So I'll call Vegito and you know, get a full combo. By the time this combo is done, uh, the meter build penalty will be off as well. So I just got pretty much a full bar for using EX parry. It is all blue life though. So it's definitely something to consider, you know, before you try and like get too thirsty for a kill. So definitely consider that, like if they have spark and stuff that you don't wanna just like go too, too crazy with like cashing out. You're not gonna be using uh, the 214 M parry too much outside of uh, some strings, which I'm gonna get into a little bit later. But he does also have 214 S parry, which is pretty much his projectile uh, assist parry. It also parries uh, buttons as well, but that's what it's mainly used for. So Vegeta is gonna throw some projectiles. If it's successful, uh, the same rules apply on getting a combo. You can use uh, an assist if it allows, or a special tag or vanish as well. But the downside to this one is they can vanish it. So let me just have him mash vanish, right? So if it is successful, they can vanish and they can 2H. Uh, so you definitely want to use this one a lot more, like like sparingly. The ones you're going to really be like focus on are 214 L parry and 214 H parry for the most part. All right, we can finally move on to some block strings. And the first one I wanna go over is 5LL into 2L. So 
Too Well has uh, the unique property of being able to reverse beat from his auto combo. So if I do 5LL, I can go right back into 2L. And then, you know, I can do M's here if I choose to. But as I mentioned earlier, 2L is a really good stopping point because uh, it's such a, just a strong stagger in general because it's only minus two. And then being an eight frame medium starter, you know, if they were to be late on their button and stuff like that, then they're gonna explode. And then, you know, if they, if they see that you're doing it like a lot, uh, you can just do a delayed 2M and you're gonna get the same result. And that's what makes this block string really, really good. So the next string I wanna go over is a little specific, but it's also very, very strong in my opinion. And it's gonna be 2L, delayed 5LL 2M. So it'll look like this. You're gonna delay there when you do uh, the 5L. So it'll look like that uh, when the string is complete. And we're stopping at 2M for the sake of the video so I can show you guys your different options after the 2M. So first up, of course, you have your, you can just complete the whole block string. So I'm gonna have him reversal 2H here. You can stop at 2M and go straight into uh, 236L. I know, and then if you have like a strong assist with like a lot of blocks done, then you can get like a solid left right mix with floating and stuff like that, which makes that like really, really good. You can also just uh, go straight into his 2H as well and do the same thing. You know, and then just, you're just ending, ending safe, you're minus five on 236L. So back to neutral, we all go, cause it leaves you at a really safe space. So they're not really able to punish you or like not even really like take their turn either since we're so far back from each other. Now, another option, uh, which I alluded to a little earlier, I'm gonna bring in Broly for this example because he has a really far-reaching 2L, is ending with the 214 M parry, which is probably gonna be like one of the only times you're gonna use this. Now, the reason for the delay is, I'm gonna show you what happens when you don't delay the 5L. So we're just gonna do the string all the way through. Broly's gonna press 2L, he wins, right? He's in range to punish me with 2L. Now, when you delay the 5L, you knock him out of the range to challenge you. And even though you're minus 10, now he has nothing that can reach. And that's gonna apply to a lot of characters with like even like far reaching jabs. They would pretty much have to have something that's either advancing or a really far reaching 10 frame uh, M button or something to punish you like Kid Buu or uh, I believe Bardock as well. All right, next we can finally get into uh, Jiren's assists. And my opinion, all of his assists are pretty good, even even his C assists. Uh, so we're gonna go over uh, A assist first, which is Infinity Rush, which is uh, his 236 special. So it'll look like that. It's really good, 35 frames startup is probably like the um, the weakness to it since it's pretty slow, but 43 frames frames of block stun is really really good You know like you can get like really good super dash mix and stuff like that You know just get like a pretty much like a four-way mix-up or you know anything of that sort because it has like such high uh, Block stun, but the hit stun on it is also really strong too So the hit stun and the corner carry or even their side switch, it's even better for some characters. But the corner carry is insane. Like, I had so much time to just run up and do a whole combo. And a lot of characters will be able to follow suit as well with that. So the main points of this one is the corner carry, uh, hit stun, block stun. But be careful, of course, because it has the 35 frame startup. So you can't really just call it out uh, in neutral like that without getting punished. Next we have his B assist, which is his grand charge. So it's the shoulder tackle. And this is my preferred assist uh, for a lot of reasons, actually. So uh, let's start with on block. It's 29 frames of block stun. And that's enough to get like, you know, like a really solid mix uh, for just about any character, right? Uh, the other thing is it's 20 frame startup as opposed to A assist 35 frames. I prefer faster assists usually, and they're usually just a lot better and easier to use in neutral. And another cool thing about his B assist is it's actually invincible to projectiles and uh, other assists as well. So I have go on here, he's gonna just uh, throw some key blasts with Broly assist. And if you time the grand charge properly, he'll be able to go through all of it. 
right? And then even then, like he might be able to like reach and punish uh, the point character. And I think that makes it like really, really strong to use uh, in neutral. All right, and lastly, we have uh, his C assist. And as I mentioned before, like uh, I know C assists are generally a bit weaker in this patch, but his is definitely one of the better ones if you were to try and use it. And the reason for that is because uh, it retains the 5S properties as if he was on point. So that means he can go straight through Key Blast uh, if you just on reaction, just toss out C assist. Except now you're going to get a full combo with your point character. So I think that makes it, you know, it's definitely usable and pretty, pretty solid. But I, I still think uh, the other two are better assists in general. Alright y'all, we can finally get into some bread and butter combos. I have three for you guys. I'm gonna do one mid-screen, one in the corner, and then a Vanish Confirm that is definitely necessary. And for all the combos that I do do, um, the notations will be at the bottom of the screen for you guys. So this first combo is gonna be from a 5L. Uh, here we go. All right, so there's a few things with that combo that I want to point out. First of all, that is a lot of damage from a 5L mid-screen. Secondly, the corner carry is really, really strong on it, and it also built two bars. So um, with Jiren's mid-screen combos, actually, I think just in combos in general, I think it's best to use the smash after the J2H ground bounce because as you can see, it let me extend with another 2S into... 236L and then assist DR, all that stuff would not be possible if uh, I didn't use, I mean, if I did use my smash early on in the combo, which is why we don't really do uh, like a 2H combo or a 2S or something like that mid screen. Get the corner carry, uh, use the J2H, the, the charge one for the ground bounce, and then you can finish the combo by himself with an assist. You know, however you like, you can end that combo. So moving straight on to his corner BMB. Uh, and again, the notations will be at the bottom of the screen below. Um, it's pretty much going to follow the same rules as the mid-screen combo. So use the smash after the J2H ground bounce and stuff like that. So that way you get better extensions with your assists, uh, more meter, etc. So this will be from a 2L, so a medium starter. All right, so that's 5.6K built two and, a half, no, two and a quarter bar, which is a lot, a lot of meter. And yeah, it's just really strong route for Jiren to just be able to cash out uh, damage because he's building so much meter and stuff like that. And the trick to this combo is there's no delays. You're not delaying everything or anything at all. So what you see at the bottom of the screen, you know, just do it as is. Uh, and then the, the combo is just really fluent. So there's no there's no real real tricks to it Which makes it like it's gonna be consistent for you it works on every character, etc. All right, and lastly we have uh, From a vanish confirm which you're gonna probably get a lot with Jiren since uh, You want to be able to convert off of parries off of 5s and you know Sometimes you don't have a, an assist that lets you do that and it's important always to be able to maximize that damage and knock down situations and stuff so I'm going to use uh, 5S for this example. All right, that's the combo. So yeah, like being able to confirm uh, Vanish properly, I think is just, you know, it's really important in general. And as I said, Jiren is going to get uh, a few opportunities to be able to do that. And the combo I just showed, uh, the corner carry, you know, is really good. And if you were even closer to the corner, uh, you would be able to get the J2H uh, ground bounce and then extend with an assist and stuff like that. So uh, these combos are definitely really good to know. So lastly, I want to talk about overall team composition, what I feel you should be looking for in partners, what I'm personally looking for uh, in partners as well, and just how you can make, you know, like the just a really strong team centered around Jiren. Uh, in my opinion, Jiren is almost always going to be your point character because he's going to he's going to be building so much bar. Uh, the damage output is crazy. 
you know, and having uh, two assists behind him makes him a lot stronger. So what I, what my teams pretty much do, so uh, behind Jiren, we have Bardock and Vegito. So we can, it's a pretty good starting point here. Um, Jiren's overall weakness is his lack of mix. And having Bardock B definitely gives him uh, the mix that he's lacking. You know, he gets uh, free left rights with like the float mixes and stuff like that. So having like really high block stun to help him do that, uh, it's really good. Because then it, it makes him a true complete character by taking his one weakness and turning it into a strength uh, with the help of an assist. And Fujito pretty much enhances all the screen control. You know, I'm able to just cover pretty like every point in the screen. And that's always just like really, really strong. Aside from this, uh, he can go really well with anybody. Uh, I would say the best assists for him are probably like beams. So like SSJ Goku, you have Trunks. Uh, even UI Goku's beam is really good with him. Um, beams are really good. So, so that way, while you're in the air, you can also just be covering that ground. And you continuously are like just maintaining control of the screen. Uh, they also help like, you know, with the corner carry and stuff like that. So they're really good. Beams, you want high block stun, so like Vegito, I mean not Vegito, uh, Bardock, Kid Buu, uh, assists like that are very strong for him. Um, you, al you also have assists that enhance his combos, like uh, let's say like Baby B or Janemba A assists, uh, since it, it throws four key blasts, you know, it gives you really, really good extensions. You have a ton of options. And another thing that I look for is... Do they, does the assist allow me to combo um, after a parry without having to spend Vanish or do like special tag and stuff like that? And Vegito allows for that. Android 21 is a really good beam assist that allows for that as well. Uh, Kefla too. So you definitely have a ton of options when it comes to playing Jiren. I'm looking forward to seeing all your different team compositions as well. But he, he, there, there's not really, like, a bad partner I think he has. Like, every every Jiren team that I look at for the most part, uh, they're usually really strong. They're usually really strong assists behind them that can always help him in some way. But I personally prefer uh, having the high block stun assist. So, if not, Bardock, you know, Kid Buu is also uh, really, really strong in that department. And then just uh, adding on to my screen control with uh, Vegito, I think is a really good... Uh, you just wait to enhance uh, Jiren's gameplay. All right, y'all. That's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I really hope you guys got a lot out of this tutorial. I've been waiting to do this for quite some time. Let me know in the comments below what teams you guys like, what teams you guys decide to go with. I'm really interested in seeing what you guys bring to the table. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on the Dash Fight YouTube and check out their website. And thank you guys once again. I'll see you next time.